Hi there, welcome to another Should You Say video. Um, this video is going to be about Layla, uh, a bit about Vanille, and a small thing at the end about Kadaj. Because I want to talk a little bit about Kadaj. Because of the uh, current issue he is facing. Um, now, we're going to go straight into the meat of it. Layla, she's a new character that was added uh, before the, through the story in Chapter 6.2. Um, she is a Thunder character, like, well, Thunder, Electric, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, um, you never want to take it to Thunder at all stages, so do bear that in mind with her. Uh, she is an evasion tank, and she's far more on the offensive side of tanking than she is on the defensive side of tanking. Um... And with Layla, she also overrides any locks because her overhead takes pre uh, takes priority over any any debuff lock. So um, do bear that in mind with uh, Layla. Uh, her skill use is also um, um, is relatively high, but she has no free skill uses in her kit. So uh, do bear that in mind. Her Overhead only has like six charges maximum at any given time, so and you need skill two to refresh it. Uh, while she has some base defensive auras on her, she um, uh, she doesn't have huge defensive auras compared to other tanks, so AOE heavy fights are not going to be that great for her, and. Uh, are that great to show off for her uh, but she does have her C65 which drastically increases your defense so in fights where there's a few AoE attacks she can mitigate them fine and then dodge and so forth uh, her best the best fights to be taken her for are going to be any fight with dodgeable attacks because that's her entire gimmick because when she dodges with a unique dodge and she has her LD uh, buff up um, she uh, she will uh, basically warp the entire party forward heal them and batter them so when it comes to Layla, she is currently probably the best evasion tank right now. Like, and for the next three fights, she works great against them. The, the next three loot pluses, she just works great because she just goes na 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 and dodges. <laughs> and um, and that and that is how um, Layla is. Like she. Basically, you don't want to pair up with any other locking tank. Like, don't pair her up with people like Snow, with Zack, especially Zack. Don't pair Layla with Zack. Uh, uh, you, you, and Warrior of Light, because their lock debuffs are just going to be overwritten, and you kind of don't want that on those characters, if you can help it. Warrior of Light, you could probably get away with. But Zack and Snow, no, you want them getting hit. Like, you want them to be the target of aggression. Um, her downsides are basically uh, Thunder Absorb. Don't take it to Thunder Absorb, because if they absorb Thunder, she's just going to hit Null with a lot of her skills. Um, she does, unfortunately, with her warp gimmick, actually affect recast times on EXs. And this can be a major problem for some characters, like if they heavily rely on their EX, or bulk of their damage, or bulk of their utility, or whatever, she can mess with the timing on that for with skills and so forth, so you do have to be careful. Um, so do bear that in mind with Layla. Have I been really affected by it? Not really, but there are some characters that will do, so yeah, be careful uh, with Layla on that one. Um, uh, 
with uh, her banner mates are Vanille and Cryo. Now Vanille gets an LD rerun. This is the banner to get L uh, Vanille's LD because her initial LD banner is eh to uh, <laughs> like sort of like a, not that great of a banner when it originally comes. It does have the twins BT. But it's Vanille's also like she becomes the best auto plus farmer for basic stuff, but it's not really worth going out of your way for back about in around that time for Vanille. Like I got her then, and I barely I used her at all. <laughs> now, um, now uh, for from here. Like, Vanille being plopped around here where there's a few enemies that do like to buff themselves and she can despell, yeah, she gets a bit better showcased here than, than enemies than back then. Um, her damage is a lot better now because her EX now has triple dumps and it's still a one turn trap debuff. But uh, when that trap goes off now, it will do a double HP dump, AOE, double HP dump, and it will also dispel buffs that enemies get, the, like dispel a couple of buffs, and also apply both of Vanille's debuffs, like her defense down debuffs and so forth. Like, it's a really, really nice upgrade here. So I, if you if you like vanilla and so forth, I wouldn't get vanilla initially. I would get vanilla here because Layla's an amazing evasion tank, and vanilla is a lot better now. This this is probably vanilla's best banner at the moment. Um, and uh, and yeah, this is Layla's first banner, so yeah, she she's also extremely well done and so. Forth. And everything like that. Um, Layla can pretty much go with most anybody in the roster. It's literally the lock tanks that you don't want her with, like, and people with messed up uh, who who's recast might get messed up and um, and you know hurt hurt them with her warp gimmick. But she's been great for the past three fights. Loot plus fights. I've taken her into a few older ones where she works perfectly fine. You are, and that's basically Layla. Like she's a she's a really great unit, and I would actually recommend saving gems tickets if you gems if you really need an evasion tank tickets if you like to get her. Like this this is a very good very good banner even for newbies for the veterans and everybody.